Well, greetings and welcome to Fuga Melodies of Steel 2, the epilogue of my sessions, which is just going to be me reading uh, episodes 1 through 10 of the comic pages from The Adventures of Sacre within the game's uh, special universe. So, last time I did this with Fuga 1, I broke it into three parts because, I don't know, I just felt like doing it like, uh, there's like three episodes per session, and then I did the last four. By this time, we're just gonna read all of them all at once. And from what I understand, we're basically going to have to relearn the characters from what happened in, uh, The Adventures of Sacre in the first game. But hey, maybe you didn't watch me play the first game, so... It's gonna have to reread them all over again. Les Adventures de Sacre. Les Cremen vers la Luna. Hmm. Passionate. Okay. Adventures of Sacre fly to the moon arc. So, Sacre. A courageous 15 year old boy with a sense of justice. Yeah. Gotta serve justice! For Santa. Some other time, though. When push comes to shove, his wit is his weapon. That sounds like a terrible weapon, honestly. Prima. Prima, Sacre's... Yeah. Sacre's... Buddy and female pet owl that understands spoken language. Hmm. Funny how you didn't say English. You just said spoken language. I mean, who's to say what is actually spoken? Cats and dogs can actually talk to you, it's just... You can't really understand their meows and barks, so... What's the limit there? Mielna, Sakre's lively childhood friend. She tends to be a little too helpful. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by her being too helpful? The doctor, an oddball inventor, he creates some amazing inventions even though they usually break right away. Yeah, just like anything that's made from America. Professor Burry. Previously an archaeology professor, he was banished from the Academy Society after his fraud was discovered. A money grubber. Okay. Count Nouvellion. Mysterious man in a mask. He persuades Professor Burry to come along and steal treasure. Yeah. The real Count Novellion. Unlike the uh, the Count Novellion we've been dealing with. Adventures of Sacre, Episode 1. Research Institute, Fountain of Innovation. Eureka! That's it! I found it at last! What's well, gotten into you all of a sudden, Doctor? Woohoo! Is that the latest? Oh. I didn't realize that's Sacre talking. I thought it was going to be the doctor explaining, but of course he wouldn't explain immediately, like, you know, doctors should. Anyways, is that the latest ancient script you've gotten your paws on? Indeed, and one of the information I've sought for years. Information about the great energy source Juno. You're kidding. Does that mean? Oh, yes, indeed. The time has come at last for us to deal with Genova. What? That's Final Fantasy VII trademark copyright not sponsored. What's a trademark? Copyright. Whatever. I see you're both excited, but does someone mind explaining what's going on? No. Not at all. Hmm. You gotta excuse the old man. He's uh, from another era. This is the energy source we need for a yet incomplete model of transport. It's a rocket he thought he could f never finish. Okay. Why, though? What would be the point of it? One that could take us adventuring to the moon. The moon? There's no time to waste. Set course for the ruins. I'll get things ready to go. I I'm coming to... Ah, crash bang doing? Uh oh. Just breaking stuff. 
Hmm. Four seems a little down. To be continued. Oh. That's a weird way to end the first episode of the comic. That wasn't really a tease or a cliffhanger for what's going to happen next. Like, if anything, it should have ended with just them trying to make the rocket and nothing that had to do with the owl, but okay. Adventures of Sacre, episode two. Sacre and the others proceeded with preparations for exploring the ruins. Meanwhile, elsewhere, nah, random mountain. Gem. Hmm. Deep in the Juno ruins. Wahaha! <laughs> I found it at last! The greatest treasure of all! The ancient energy source, Juno! Um, hmm. Is that like the power crystals from Mega Man 64? Yeah, that's dated. It's all mine! Count Novellion will never even know. Oh? He's doing stuff behind Count Novellion's back? Well, wow. plot twist. Evil people be evil. And also, when they deal with other evil people, they betray them because they're evil. Hmm. I guess that's why you shouldn't be evil. All right. <laughs> yeah, but this alone won't do. I still need to get the other up and running. Other? Other what? But that's precisely why I gave those fools that intel. Okay, so... Whatever the good guys got, it's something that the bad guys just made up. Of course. Yeah. So basically... The question is, who's the bigger idiot? The idiot or the idiot that's following the idiot? I'm sure they're headed right in here right at this moment. <laughs> to be continued. Interesting. So now we have the two villains that were working together no longer working together. wonder what the other thing is that he's trying to bring up. Adventures of Secret. Episode 3. Several days after Sakura and the others depart. Oh, that's just it. Entrance to the Juno Ruins. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm tired and I'm old. Shut up, old man. At last, we've made good heavens. Doctor, you really ought to exercise more. Boy, I'm like 85 plus. Come on now. Whatever. So Grace right. He's the one carrying all the heavy gear. But I mean, he's 15 and he's, you know, maturing, growing young lad who definitely has more muscle than an 80-year-old man who apparently hasn't worked out in his life. Sounds like excuses to me. Yeah, it's definitely excuses. Both of you shut the f*** up. Hold on. Yes, yes, I am well aware, but... Uh, I've run the ancient text through my trusty... Translangulator here. Who to what? It appears that there is more to these ruins than Juno alone. Like what? Like an ancient weapon known as the Tarin. Hold up a second. Tarin? Like the Tatarin? Which is a special tank? Or the Tataris? The Tyrannus and the Tarascus put together? Something suspicious about this. Left here to defend the Junon, perhaps. An ancient weapon? That sounds dangerous. No sh Sherlock. Okay, you don't have to be rude about it. I can't completely decipher with it, uh, the Translangigator. The who to what? Uh, Young people will never understand old lingo. Boy, shut up before I smack you. We'll only find out by further exploring these ruins. Sounds like an adventure to me. Oh, Sacre. Come on, Doctor. Let's get exploring. Yes, yes. Careful, though. 
It's been smooth sailing so far. Too smooth. Best keep my guard up. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you know, someone has to be suspicious for no dumb reason. I mean, you don't have to always be suspicious of something that just seems like a golden opportunity to pick up some treasure. But I guess 95% of the time it's probably suspicious. Something wrong with it. All right, Adventures of Sacre, episode four. Inside the ruins. Marvelous. Look at all this ancient writing. It's in great shape too. What if there are ghosts and stuff around here? What out? Oh, then I guess we'll be sacrificing the youngest of ours. And also whoever is the, uh, the virgin female. Excuse me, what? Excellent. My translingator is working better than anticipated. Only the best from our inventions. Let's just hope this doesn't explode. <clears throat> no. No. Now for me to reveal the fact that it will actually explode after I finish the sentence. Excuse me? Uh-huh. There is something odd about the text, though. It didn't explode. Uh, fooled you. Doc, it's not April Fools. Ah, oh, shucks. Think that's because of your device? Or the text itself? The text, of course. It says here that the ancient weapon, Tarin, was not built to defend the Juno. Wait a minute. I'm just now realizing. They're using the word Juno. I think Juno is... I think we're the ancient people. Hmm. Well, that's suspicious. But I mean, this was made by the, uh, the supposedly fake Count Nivellion of this world, who apparently just makes the comics of Sacre, which, yeah, uh, he, he definitely not one of the regular peoples, so. It's just weird. Instead, it was meant to destroy it. To what? Then what was it doing here? Good question. We should move along to find out more. Alright, let's see what else we can find. There's only getting scarier. What? What? Oh. It gets darker all of a sudden. Oh, it's getting even darker. Whoa. It's black. Vroom. Is it a vehicle? Oh. More vroom. Ah, it even further vroom. Vroom. Oh. We continue. Uh, they might have just been run down by a random vehicle. All right, Adventures of Sacre, episode five. We must be in pretty deep now. Indeed. What? What's the matter, Crema? Doom. <laughs> Who said that? Also, that's not a sound effect word, but okay. Doom. No way. It, it can't be. It's the ancient weapon. The Taran. Brum. Look out. Scrap. Fruit. Yeah. Yalna. Crema. Hey. You let them go. Vroom. No way. It's mobile. I mean, what did you expect? It just broke down a wall. Or at least it seemed like it broke down a wall. On top of the fact that, you know, it does look kind of tankish. Usually tanks move, hence mobility and mobile. So, uh, you dumb, Sakrae. To be continued. Adventures of Sacre, episode six. <laughs> Allow me to thank you for rescuing or resurrecting the Tran for me. Professor Burry? 
What's the meaning of this? Vroom, vroom. I require two living beings to use an energy source for this weapon. Oh. This is a reference to the soul cannon. Now I can see why Malt was questioning why these uh, comics feel so surreal to their uh, to their adventures. Ah, it all makes sense now. But it also, I would think at that point, would cause super red flags for him to uh, to question Count Novellion and how he's able to do all this, able to make all this up without being a part of the adventure that they were actually in. So, ah, it's probably still the uh, crazy guy talking. You basically showed up here by my own invitation. Roar, so it was you who left that text fall into my paws. Vroom, vroom. Uh, uh, it hurts. How dare you use our friends like that? I'm going to keep using them too, you know. That sounds weird. Could easily take that out of context. Whatever. Until I get what I want, that is. You're wicked. What are you trying to pull? Vroom, vroom. I'm going to absorb the Juno into the turn here. Okay. Once I do, I'll have the world's strongest weapon. How could you use a Juno for such twisted ends? You won't get away with this. Vroom. Once the Tyran is fully operational, not even Count Nophilion can... What's happening? Why have I lost control? <laughs> Stop, I say! We, we gotta go after that thing. Mierna and Krima are in danger. R right. To be continued. Yeah. Episode 7. Adventures of Sacre. <laughs> I was just thinking of mine of its own. Thankfully, I still still headed for the Juno. So, <laughs> wait, are they trying to run after a machine that's probably going like a good thirty, if not forty miles an hour? Okay. How does a tank that huge move so fast? Boy, it's a tank. What'd you expect? I mean, I expected it to not be fast. But okay. But he's about to make a great mistake. According to the writing here, that tank is off to destroy the Juno. It's gonna destroy it? Okay. What? So what'll it do exactly? What'll happen if it does? That would bring Professor Burry's wicked plans to a halt. We would all put, but it would all but put an end to our chance of reaching the moon too. Oh, because I need the Juno to make the rocket ship. But that was a lie. They got that information from the villain who could have easily just made that up. So even if they do get it, it probably won't work. What's worse, if that thing fires, my friend's lives will be put at risk. Shoot. How can we stop this thing? You seem to need... You seem in need of help. <laughs> oh, wait, is that... Is that actually Count Novellion talking? So it would be more like, Mmm, you seem to be in need of help. <laughs> huh? Yep, it's Novellion. Whoosh. It is I, young Sakre. Count Novellion. To be continued. Yeah. Adventures of Sakre, episode 8. So now they're working with the villain, more or less. You wish to stomp that tank, yes? Allow me to assist. You? But why? I, too, do not wish to see the Juno destroyed. Now then. Shall we? Ugh. I don't have time for this. 
fine then. You. He just waves his hand. Dude has magic just at the ready. I mean, granted, he did just kind of teleport out of nowhere. But still, like, the dude just has magic at the ready. So, how does he lose to this 15-year-old every time he tries to steal stuff? When the 15-year-old does not have magic. This guy is terrible at being a villain. Very well. Head through here then. And uh, pay no mind to the narrator. Excuse me? Here goes nothing. Good. Good. Almost there. Yeah. Point. Yeah. What? Why won't you stop? Hmm. Okay. To be continued. Who is he yelling at to stop? The tank or the evil dude that stole his friends? Wrench of Sacre, episode 9. It stopped. Huh. Yeah. So that's how machinery works. You just yell at it and it'll just do what you tell it. Yeah. Such simple things. No. How could this happen? Hmm. Professor Burry, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Count Novillion! <laughs> Where do you. I've had my eyes on these runes for some time now. There was more yet to be investigated, but. Why don't we continue this chat at the estate, Professor? Yes, sir. Young Sucre, I'll leave that in your paws for the time being. So long. Uh, uh. Well, at least everyone is safe. The Juno, too. Oh, thank you, Sucre. I was so scared. Glad to see you're safe as well, Sucre. Uh, all is well. Wait. No one's gonna say hi to the owl? Really? You're just gonna treat her as less than second class citizen by just not acknowledging her? That's rude. She's a pet owl that can understand any and all languages. Like, that is not something you should just take for granted. But okay. I guess it is. What is Count Nuvendi even planning? Just staring up at the tank. That is definitely the Tyrannus, if not the Tarascus. Or it's both. It's the Tataris. Hmm. What do we do with this tank now? Blow it up. A month later. To be continued. Boy, that is a terrible cliffhanger. Come on. You just straight up were like, ah, one month later. Oh, by the way, this is the end of the comic. Ah. <sighs> It would have been better to just end it. If we go back. It would have been better to end it. I guess maybe we can go back this way. Ah, nope. It uh, just backs out. So it would have been better to end it on this page. Where he was questioning what Count Novellian was trying to do with this tank. Or what they should do with the tank now. Because, uh, yeah, there's nothing to it other than that. But then saying one month later, that's more like the beginning of the next comic rather than a cliffhanger. But okay. Adventures of Sacre episode 10. Yeah, see, they could have just started one month later. At Research Institute, the Fountain of Innovation, one month after exploring the ruins. Rough. Perhaps we wasted that ancient weapon? Huh? That's a weird question. Perhaps we wasted that ancient weapon? Oh, is they gonna explain that they destroyed it? By burying it in the caves, you mean? Oh, come on. Really? That's how it just became a thing? Okay. Yes. I think we did the right thing. No, you did not, because now 12 different random children are going to pilot it and wreak havoc across the, uh, 
the floating islands of Gasco. And much more. There will always be people like Professor Burry out there looking after it. After all. We aren't any place to use it yet. Actually, I don't think we ever caught or ever ought to put that thing to use. Perhaps you're right. I agree. We have the Juno for now. After all, with a bit more research, we can make it to the moon. I know we will. Make sure to take me with you. You bet we will. <laughs> Doc, make sure there's only two seats in the pilot. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> uh, the owl's just in the background crying. Yeah, there's something with the owl. The owl is way more interesting to me than anything that's going on in this comic. Some about that is suspicious. Sacre. Hmm. Interesting. Count Novellian's estate. The Juno has been uncovered at last. The day of return is at pull. Return? Wait, did they come from the moon then? That's awkward. Ah. Uh, interesting. The day of return, huh? Princess of Sacre fly to the moon arc. Finn. I mean, they didn't really fly to the moon. That seemed more like a... You know, the hunt for Juno. Arc, rather than the fly to the moon arc. Fly to the moon arc is the next thing that's gonna happen. But, okay. Wow, interesting. But yeah, it makes me think that... The, uh, the people that left the planet were actually from the moon. Or maybe they went to the moon. Maybe they've colonized the moon and have yet to be able to return. Yeah, something's sus really suspicious about these strange people that just kind of came and went and left all this technology behind. But yeah, I guess at that point, that'll be the end of uh, today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. We'll see you in the next session.